and company locations. Chats Late Night, Sunday after the late news on CBS2. Each year in December, after the rest of college football has closed the book on its regular season, one game remains. Since 1890, these two schools have faced off. John Kennedy would insist on having this game played. The president's not here, but we'll let it all hang out with this game. Rivals for one day. Everybody knew what was at stake. But forever united in their common purpose. When the game ends, they're willing to die for each other. These are four of the greatest games ever played on this stage. This is Four Sides of the Story, Army Navy, presented by Izod. My dad actually took me to the first Army-Navy game in my lifetime when I was about 10 years old. Over time, I came to learn that this was much more than a football game. I'm Roley Stitchway. I was the quarterback of the Army football team in the 1963 uh, Army-Navy game. You know, I got the word that I was on the cover of Life magazine, but then we lost President Kennedy. And so this is the exact same cover, November 29th, 1963. So this magazine was replaced by President Kennedy. <laughs> A difficult time in all of our lives. I'm Roger Staubach. I was the Navy quarterback for the 1963 Army-Navy game. The president's car is now turning onto Elm Street, jam-packed with spectators waiting their chance to see the president. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. Something, I repeat, has happened in the motorcade route. I can remember that like it happened yesterday. Walter Cronkite. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy. Moving his glasses died. and reporting that indeed the president had died. And it was absolutely devastating to lose this particular commander in chief. And frankly, any other things going on in our lives, including football, were just not important. The Army-Navy game was going to be a week from that Saturday. And then we heard that the Kennedy family wanted a game to be played. John Kennedy would insist on having this game played. I really believe that they understood that being a great Navy guy, that he, he really enjoyed the games. And so we, we, we had probably a bias there as far as uh, how much we, we uh, liked him because his his, his naval background. So the game was played. It was a week later than originally planned. He was there in 61, 62, and here we are in 63, and we've lost our president. And to have the game played in his honor, I think all that emotion was prevalent with the family and for all of us, really. The game was played in what was called Philadelphia Municipal Stadium, and it was changed to JFK Stadium the next year. There were over 100,000 people in the stands and we're going against a number two ranked Navy team. But I can honestly say we were not intimidated. And from the nine, Stitchway swept to his left, cut. We were fortunate to get off to a, a pretty quick start. The underdog cadets had a touchdown. But no surprise, they came out. Donnelly hunched over the touchdown that put Navy ahead. A tag on Stitchway. He was really a great running quarterback. They got the ball in the middle of the third quarter, and they had a long drive. They scored and made the two points. And they did an onside kick. And Stitchway is on the onside team and recovers the football. I mean, the guy is all over the place. And so I'm on the sideline, and I go over to Coach Harden, and he said, well, let me tell you, when we get that ball back, uh, we gonna... I said, Coach, we're not going to get the ball back. <laughs> the time, look at the clock. The crowd was not only so excited on both sides at this point, many were encroaching on the field. We were playing for the president, so it was a whole different atmosphere uh, than, than any other game I've ever played in. Officials actually stopped the game a couple times because the crowd noise was so loud. And, and I think it had a lot to do with everybody just saying the president's not here, but we're going to let it all hang out at this game. 
at this point in time, it was fourth and one. So it was either, are we going to get the playoff or not? My lineman couldn't hear the, the count at the line, people turning around and saying, can't hear you, can't hear you. So it was a no-brainer, official timeout, calm things down. And that, that didn't happen. When Army takes too much time, the clock runs out and the game is over. The clock ran all the way down. And uh, Tom Lynch, our great captain of the team, grabbed that football and hugged it and ran off the field like you wouldn't believe. No one can say whether Army would have scored or not. At West Point, there are three acceptable answers that a plebe learns. Yes, sir, no, sir, and no excuse, sir. So the answer is no excuse, sir. We felt like it was a heck of a game, and we played it on behalf of the president. And so uh, everything that was pent up inside of us was let out. We were not only playing for ourselves, but we had a sense that he still was watching that game, and it was important to him as it was to us. Four Sides of the Story, Army Navy on CBS Sports is sponsored by IZOD. All the stripes, none of the pain.